your ABC7 First Alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. So as we continue on with uh, hurricane preparedness week, today we take a look at insurance, as Scott mentioned a little bit earlier. I think the thing to do today is to review your insurance plan with your insurance agent. Find out if there's any additional insurance you need, any adjustments, if you've done anything to your home that requires further uh, insurance. Also, know your zone. And I'm not just talking about the evacuation zone, because that's based on storm surge, but also your flood zone, which many people don't know about. The flood zone will tell you about flesh, freshwater flooding as well. And uh, oftentimes, hurricanes have as much damage associated with them due to rainfall as they do to that storm surge caused by the winds pushing the water up on shore. So two different kinds of flooding, each equally important in a hurricane situation. If you don't know what your flood zone is, if you don't know what your evacuation zone is, go to John Scalzi ABC7 on Facebook, and I'll have the links there in which you can type in your address and find your flood zone in both Manatee and Sarasota County, as well as your evacuation zone, both of which you should know. So we're looking at a temperature of 88 degrees by about 3 p.m. today, sunny and dry throughout with little chance of rainfall. Plenty of sunshine around, kind of boosting the UV index and also the ozone levels, which are very close to just being at that level where unhealthy, pe um, un uh, sensitive people who have uh, perhaps some compromised respiratory systems are advised to perhaps limit outdoor activity uh, during the day. We don't know if we're going to be there yet, and some computer models suggest it'll be a little bit better today than it was yesterday in terms of ozone count. But of course, Bob in at five will have that latest number for you, which comes out this afternoon and uh, give you some advice on that. 85 degrees by 7 p.m. And as we head into the overnight, we'll drop down into the 60s when you wake up tomorrow morning. 85, the current temperature, dew point at 60. Still comfortable, a little higher than yesterday, but still comfortable. East northeast wind coming in at eight and lots of sunshine. 24 hour temperature difference between today and this time yesterday. Not much in many places. It's exactly the same temperature and that's going to of course crease our fire danger index throughout the day today. Most locations are in the very high category with only Hardy coming in in the high category. So extreme fire danger still an issue here on the Sun Coast. Northwest wind comes in at about 15 switching to the northeast at about 15. That'll bring you a moderate chop on your Bay and Inland waters with just two foot seas. So here's your forecast for today. We'll top it out at 88 and then tomorrow we'll be at about the same thing. I think same thing about on Friday as well. By Friday, you'll notice perhaps a little bit of an increase in humidity across the region, kind of creeping up there a little bit each day for the next several days, but still very comfortable. Then as we head into Saturday, watch that humidity spike. Winds turn south. East, we get that moisture returning and a little trough of low pressure from the south lifts northward, giving us about a 40% chance of showers both Saturday and Sunday. And in fact, that rain chance continues on into next work week. Scott?